There's nothing better than an efficient website, a website that's fast, it's easy to work on, it's easy to create blog posts. In this video, I'll teach you exactly how I do that, how I create a WordPress website, the themes, the plugins, and the tools that I use to make your life easier. So let's get into it. First thing of any good website is the theme. What are you going to use? And I use Astra. It has two different ones that has Astra free and it has Astra pro. And the cool thing is you can get a starter template and start customizing it really easily. So I'm going to show you the inside of my website and why that matters. So here's Astra, here's Spectra. So with Astra pro comes Spectra and this is pretty cool. So let's jump into Astra. This here, you can customize so many things. Um, I have developers come in here and we do, let's see here, customize. This is where most WordPress websites live in customization. You can go to global, you can change typography colors. This is nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Astra is much like many others, but there's way more customization. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. Check this out. So when we go to custom layouts, let's look here. Custom layouts, all of these things here were done by my developer. You can do it as well. Um, and they're call to actions in post. They can be sidebars, they can be in post, after post, they can be things that are static at the bottom of the website. Let me show you what I mean. Down on the main page, on the home page, right? And keep in mind, this is Astro. You're able to do like a good looking website for not a lot of money. I think it's 150 bucks a year or something like that. Um, I use it almost on all of my websites. Um, here's a recent article that I've done. And all of this, remember what I was saying? Look here, when I scroll down with sticky sidebar, it looks pretty good about the author over here. Um, a pro tip, this is like an inline, I forget what it's called, but nonetheless, right here, this is a custom CTA. So it's one of these, so I'll show you. So this here, um, learn tips to save money on insurance, save money on insurance, it's one of these. And it's very easy to set up once you know how. Um, and I think I have another thing that automatically pops up. Let's see if we can find it. Maybe not on this category. Let's jump to, say, this one. And I'll show you something else cool that we're able to do. So there's the uh, CTA. We're able to put infographics in automatically based upon categories. And then we go all the way to the bottom. And annuity guide. Annuities guide. Every annuity article has a guide. And that's through the custom layouts through Astra or Astra Pro. So you can start off, you get your feet wet, you get Astra. And why is it cool? It's cool because it's customizable and, and listen to me, this matters so much. It's fast. Let me show you. So here we go. This is PageSpeed Insights by Google. You can go to pagespeed.web.dev. Uh, this is the mobile view. This is the desktop view. Desktop is always easier to rank, you know, quickness of a website, but we have 99 out of 100. Uh, performance is 99. 94 accessibility, best practices, SEO, 92, 92. We can improve these, we will. And mobile is 86 out of 100. This is very, very fast. I need to work on a few things, uh, the FCP and the LCP, and we're getting there. But nonetheless, 86 and 99 is not going to hinder us at all from ranking on Google. So we talked about Astra and the Spectra add-on. Spectra being these special blocks you can do in Gutenberg, very, very, very nice. But Kingsta is the host. I'm going to have a video on Kingsta by itself, but Kingsta is fast. It's so easy to talk to people. This is what I love. I click here. I can talk to someone. They're real people. They're sending me emojis and, and funny gifts. Um, I like it. It's, it's affordable too. How much is it? Kingsta is um, for applications, which probably not your use case, seven bucks a month, but WordPress sites are 35 bucks a month for 25,000 visits, and then it works up from there. I usually use a business plan, this one right in the middle, because I can have five WordPress websites, 100,000 visits, and then it goes up from there. But customer service on Kingsta is second to none. So moving along, the next here is WP Forms. What is WP Forms? WP Forms has been around for a long time. Very, very easy to use. It's a drag and drop WordPress form builder. So what does it look like? in the website. Let's look here. Newsletter sign up form. So this is somewhere on the Bopple website. It's a simple look, click and drag. I could do click this here, multiple choice. I could say, you know, I could customize blah 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 blah. And there you go. Very, very easy. What else do they have? Single line text. It's click and drag. I use the free version. They have a paid version for more customization. I've never had the need to use the uh the paid version. 
So WP Forms is my go-to sign-up form. You can use it for contact us page uh, and what have you. But let's jump to the next thing. Moving on down is Simple Sitemap. Simple Sitemap. So every website, for the most part, if it's on WordPress, has a sitemap.xml. This allows Google and users and whomever else to crawl the website and understand, okay, everything in here is a blog post. Okay, we have 251 on this website right now. Everything in here is a page, a static page, such as contact. Uh, but Simple Sitemap does something different. Simple Sitemap does this. Let's jump back to Google, or uh, Bopple rather. Let's go to the bottom where we set it up into the footer. This is for SEO, Sitemap. Now you can see bopple.com. This is an HTML Sitemap, categorized. What this does, it allows our blog posts to not be too far away from the homepage. This is good for crawlability on Google. Uh, so far, this website, although it's fresh, we haven't had too much crawlability issues, and I believe this is partially uh, the reason, because we use Simple Sitemap. We put this little simple thing together. You can get very, you know, customizable with it if, if you want, but I do it strictly for SEO. I don't do it necessarily for user experience, but, you know, it can work too. You want to know something about car insurance? Uh, well, there you go. So moving on, let's see what else is next. Okay, this does a heavy, heavy heavy lift for all of my websites it's Yoast SEO and I do recommend the paid version um, for different reasons but I've seen a bump when I use the paid version maybe it just forces me to do more things but Yoast is great it does so many things and it's designed for SEO if we jump into one of these articles and then I'll show you this side of the thing we edit post Yoast SEO does a lot of cool things so let's wait a second for this to load here we go we go to the bottom first. This is where most people, you know, recognize it. Here is the bread and butter of Yoast. Yoast SEO Premium. This is the SEO title. We can change this. The slug, meta description. Then you can put focus keywords up here. Done a great job for readability. All right. Sentence length. Uh, this many of your sentences contain more than 20 words. So we want to keep them shorter. Uh, but it says, good, you're using... Uh, you're not using passive voice, you're using active. So it'll give you red if you are uh, you have some issues, right? But let's go back to over here. Then if you have premium, you have all these different workflows that you can do. And it does 301 redirects, which I really, really like. It makes my life easier when I need to change a slug on something. Um, you can do uh, global things such as website name. Uh, site representation organization. This is schema markup. I do manual schema, but if you're not good with that kind of stuff, SEO, uh, Yoast SEO Premium can do that. And then you can type, you can uh, plug it into Google and what have you. Um, let's see what else we have going on here. This is the back end of Yoast SEO, so we might as well press into it. It will automatically put the title as the SEO title, the title tag. You can change that, a lot of variables. There's advanced stuff. Let's go to the advanced stuff. If you want to say not crawl archive pages for SEO purposes, it's here. You can customize your breadcrumbs if you use that on your website. This paired with Astra, you have a powerhouse of a website. Author, archives, all this stuff. Top of this, they have what are called SEO workouts. I believe this is for the premium only. Uh, you can say start workout. I want to work on this page. Improve. Click here, and it's going to um, help you figure out SEO for it and how it connects to your website as a whole. I don't use it because it slows me down, uh, but as a beginner, this can be very, very helpful. The premium plan is $99 per year. Uh, there is a free version available. I highly recommend the free version if you've never used it. See if you like it, and then move on up with it. Um, the plugin subscription, I've never used, quite frankly. I'm always right here. Okay, next on the list, down here you can see it, Link Whisper. This helps to interlink articles on the website, which really matters. If you're not familiar, uh, Link Whisper is made by um, this guy right here, Spencer Halls, who's who owns Niche Pursuits. He's a very good SEO. Um, they do a heck of a job with this. Such a cool tool. I don't think there's anything else on the market quite like it. I will show you how it works in a real... Um, article here in a second, but this is the overview. So posts crawled, it's looked at all these, links found, uh, or internal links. This is the goal, to tie your articles together in a topical authority cluster type of way. This looks like a lot of information. It looks 
uh, overwhelming to a degree, but it's not. So let's go back to this one we are working on, the best car insurance quotes for young male drivers. And what we can do here is say, let's add some inbound links. So you type in your keyword here, male driver, because the article is the best car insurance quotes for male drivers. I want to know, is there any other articles? There's three in this website, any other blogs that are, are pertaining to that keyword. So the best car insurance for 18 year olds has male drivers, blah, blah, blah. I can click here and now I have an awesome, you know, anchor tag for interlinking. Male drivers may face higher premiums. I'm literally going to do this for the website. Um, male drivers may be considered another higher risk. Good. Male drivers may be charged higher premiums. Good. Click here, click here, boom, add links. So this is from other articles to point to that article. It's that easy. I'm done. That's the workflow. That is why it's so good. So um, how much is it? Uh, like 70 bucks one time, 77 bucks. Look at that. That's not bad. Not bad at all. There's another way. So this down here allows us to send internal links out. So it would put blue text in this document out. Uh, and you can even say only show me links suggestions in the categories of say car insurance, regenerate. I only want to see articles in this category and it makes sure that's the case. Um, so it would go through here, you do the same kind of workflow, boom, 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 and then you hit insert links into post, and you're done. Now the next thing is the insights. Uh, Monster Insights helps show us in a quick view. You can use Google Analytics, you can use uh, Google Search Console, but this is pretty straightforward. You can plug it into uh, Google Search Console, and you can come here, and people have been bugging me. How many views do you have on Bopple.com? It's been a month since you did the first video. Well, this is what it looks like right now. The organic traffic is kind of non-existent. This is mostly from YouTube videos pushing out to it, but hopefully it signals uh, some good things. If you haven't seen that video, the first one, I'm spending a lot of money, a lot of time to create a thousand blog posts on this website we're, we're going over right now. But nonetheless, Monster Insights is if you're lazy like me and you just want to see views for that day, click here, boom, it's pretty lightweight. There's other things they can do, but this is free. So the next one on the list is WordFence. WordFence is a free download as well. It can be paid. Um, I usually go paid, but this is to, to keep your website safe. People try to attack it. I'm doing um, a YouTube video. You know, a couple thousand people see my videos. People are going to try to do SQL attacks, weird stuff. This is how one way to keep your website safe or safer rather. It has a firewall. Um, it can ban IPs. You can come in here and review it. Very easy. So it's WordFence dashboard. I appreciate you sticking around this long in the video. Uh, if you want a fast website, okay, a lot of websites are not fast and that hinders them ranking on Google. Keep that in mind. If you want a fast website that can rank well and it's easy to use, these are the plugins I use. Keep in mind, these are affiliate. I'll have affiliate links in the description. That means when you click on it, you'll go to Astra or Kingsta. If you buy their product, I get a little bit of money. I appreciate that. That, you know, that just helps make these videos, make it worthwhile. Uh, but nonetheless, I appreciate you watching. Uh, check out. We're going to have a lot more videos. I try to do two a week. Um, and if you haven't seen previous ones, go check them out. We have a lot of interesting things pertaining to SEO, affiliate marketing, blogging. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.